Today, I'll show you how to turn a flat anime or manga picture into a cool 3D animation, like the ones you see on my channel. We'll use completely free methods available when I made this video. If you don't have a powerful computer or graphics card, you can try a service like Rundiffusion, which gives you about 15 minutes to try for free. Later in this video, I'll explain the basics of using it. We've got eight main steps to follow, so let's begin. One, add your picture to the IMG2IMG tab. Two, make a simple prompt using the interrogate clip feature. Customize the prompt to your liking. Three, experiment with control net, start with line art and canny effects. Choosing my prompt is more important to get a result closer to the prompt. Adjust the denoise level. Higher for more realism, but more deviation from the original image. Lower for less realism, but closer to the original. Four, set the image resolution. Try a smaller size at first to avoid deformation. Five, start trying out different settings and models. This part might take some time as you test different prompts and settings until you achieve your desired result. I'll demonstrate how each setting affects the outcome. Let's start from trying a new model. Try higher denoise settings. Test different samplers listed on the checkpoint page you downloaded. Play with control net pre-processes. Add more quality control prompts. Decrease denoise. Lower the control net weight. Add more prompts to control detail. Explore different VAE models. Experiment with negative prompts. Use well-known text inversions for negative prompts from Civitai. Negative prompts are crucial here. Increase denoise for a more realistic style. Add background prompts and other details.
Adjust prompt weights for specific details. Six, enhance the image with photo editing software. Replace hard to generate parts with 2D reference images. Use the InPaint feature and select the edited 2D part. Start with low-level denoise settings to keep original details. Try soft in paint for a blended result. Remove poorly masked areas. Increase denoise for a natural look. Compare the result with the reference image. Add more accessories with 2D images.
Repeat the process. Change eye color using InPaint. Adjust weights for the desired color. You can also change eye color using traditional methods. Seven, enlarge the image in the extras tab. Extra part, if you don't have a good GPU or PC, you can use GPU cloud services for 0.5 to 1 USD per minute. There's a free trial for around 15 minutes with a 15% discount code for full features and extra storage. Find the code in the video description. You can skip this part if you can run Stable Diffusion on your PC, or you can watch another different result I made using Run Diffusion. If you use the same model and settings, it will be very similar. However, I used another default model they provide, so the result was a little different.
8. Head to Haper.ai to animate the image. Choose Animate Your Image HD and upload your image. Select the animation duration. You can add a prompt or leave it blank. Keep trying until you get the desired result. Sometimes a two-second length can give a more stable result. Try it if you fail too many times at four seconds. Once you're happy with the result, download it. Now you can use it as is or enhance or interpolate the video before using it. I'll explain how in the next video. If you're interested, please leave a comment. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments. Click subscribe so you won't miss my next video. I'm creating vlogs on the topic of AI for personal entertainment and productivity, featuring daily AI shorts, anime, and game characters. Thanks for watching.